The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the quick apps in Go Animate. As you can see, I have already logged into Go Animate and selected Create from the options above. At this point, I ask my students to choose one of the quick app themes. So we've got Jungle Warfare down to Basketball Fever. And then the kids are asked to just select Make a Skit. Once the template is selected by the computer, we then get to the screen where we've got a few options for the students to read through. And pretty intuitively, we just press Next. At this point, the students are allowed to pick their template. So they can move the template options to see all of them just by selecting the arrows. This Go Plus means that you have to pay, and I believe it's $16 for three months. So I'm going to go back and select a free template. And now we're to the point where we need to select characters. Again, to move through the different options, we just press on the arrows. And we don't want to pay for one, so we'll choose these two gentlemen. This Use Your Own Character is an option available to students, but it takes a little bit more time, so I usually don't recommend that. At this point, the students are ready to type in their dialogue. As mentioned earlier, I do ask the students to have their scripts written out prior to logging into the computer. Why do you look so happy? To get to the next screen, I just select Tab, and that takes me to my next gentleman speaker here. How to use Go Animate. If I would like the speaker to have another option of dialogue, rather than pressing Tab, I select Insert Line. This allows the same character to have another dialogue box. To change the the voice module of the character, we can just press on the smiley face and we can change his voice to be happy, angry, sad, or he can even cry and there's even tears that appear. We can also change his accent by pressing on the flag. And so we've got American English, British English, and Spanish, or excuse me, American Spanish. I'm going to stick with this one. We can also delete a line of text and that's what we'll do here for this gentleman. And we can also have the student's voice record. I often just allow them text to speech due to time, but the voice to record is also fun. At this point, all we have to do is select preview. And the movie is being generated. One thing to let the students know is that they are able to go back by selecting previous step to make any edits. And there you have it. We've created a video in less than four minutes. Greg, why do you look so happy? I